can think that I was about to miss out on the latest Godzilla trailer? First of all, I just want to remind y'all, if it weren't for the King of Monsters, things like this wouldn't even exist. So it goes without saying, I've been a big fan of the monster universe that's been forming over the last several years. I've been a pretty big fan of Godzilla and everything that comes along with it. King Kong, obviously the Skull Island, King Ghidorah with King of Monsters, obviously when King Kong and Godzilla faced off and I mean... I knew it was one-sided. But either way, I'm not here for that. I'm here for this new trailer. Apparently this movie is about to drop December 1st. I'm pretty excited for it. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Wow. From zero to minus. It's not even rated yet. Oh man, this John look crazy. All right, so this is obviously a teaser. I'm about to run this back slower and kind of talk over it, like you know, since this is basically that's that's all there is to the trailer. So post-war Japan had lost everything. So I'm kind of wondering at this rate, is this now taking a step back? Are we now going before? Are we basically retelling certain things that happened in the Godzilla universe? Because from my understanding, and I could be wrong, so definitely feel free to correct me in the comments, but I'm pretty sure that when they established that they were starting this new monster movie verse for Godzilla and everyone that may, you know, come with that, I feel like at the same time, they also acknowledged the previous old films from way back in the day that took place in like the 50s, 60s, and so on and so forth. And they acknowledged those events in the current movies or, you know, the more recent Godzilla films. So I'm wondering, since this is called Godzilla Minus One, I wonder if they're going to maybe take this direction in that way where they're going to explain or even showcase with the newest and greatest modern technology that movies have to offer this backstory where we see Godzilla destroy Japan and whatnot. And I can see that happening only because, you know, if you wanted to see anything Godzilla related to understand more about the character and his roots, you're gonna have to uh, go dig and watch some of those classic movies from Japan. If you're a fan, you'll appreciate, you know, how terribly done and bad they look. But you know what? For movies of this time, like, it doesn't bother me and I enjoyed them. And like I said, I'm a pretty... I want to say I'm a big fan because I love Godzilla and I just love everything about him. But um, I, I definitely couldn't name a bunch of monsters like I'm sure most of you can. Like I named like Godzilla, King Ghidorah, Mothra, uh, Rodan. Like those are just a few that come off the top of my head. But like I don't know like a lot of the other ones. But Godzilla is my dude. I love Godzilla. Godzilla, of course, inspired a lot of things. Dragon Zord, Reptar, just about any kind of big dinosaur looking monster that exists in any kind of media nowadays definitely is a godzilla direct uh response and inspiration so i'm looking forward to seeing this and finding out more this is of course a, just a teaser trailer but once we have more information or maybe when we have like a not a teaser trailer like a like a like a regular trailer i think that we're gonna have to revisit that one when it comes out but of course godzilla being one of the things that I love, I will, you know, at least do reactions for whatever trailers that they uh, do have for us going forward. And then depending on how that movie goes, the time that I have at that point, December 1st, I don't know where life is going to have me at that point in time, but uh, I would love to do some sort of movie review at that point. Let me know your thoughts about this trailer in the comments below. Make sure you tell me if you're excited to see it, if you're going to see it. Have you seen any of the other Godzilla films that have been coming out for this monster universe? that's happening in movies and as always make sure you are taking care of yourselves may the power protect you keep it locked loaded right here on this channel stay safe stay clean and stay on the hell inside and i'll see y'all next time.